Yo, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. So this video is all about the importance of sound. Why do we shout? Sound precedes manifestation. Even biblically speaking, every move of God is preceded by a sound. Let me take you on over to the Bible, Joshua chapter 6, verse 5. Quick background on Joshua. So Joshua was called to take over like all these lands, right? And he was just a, a leader. And uh, so this is before he was getting ready to take over some of these lands that he was promised. Joshua chapter 6, verse 5. When you hear them sound a long blast on the trumpets, have the whole army give a loud shout. Then the wall of the city will collapse and the army will go up. Joshua chapter 6 verse 10. But Joshua had commanded the army, do not give a war cry. Do not raise your voices. Do not say a word until the day I tell you to shout. Then shout. Why well, was it so important that they didn't say anything before? Because of the power in our words, right? 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 20. Now this is the story of David and Goliath. We all know the story about David and Goliath. The little skinny boy who took down the giant. This is in reference to this story. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 20. Early in the morning, David left the flock in the care of a shepherd, loaded up and set out in, as Jesse had directed. He reached the camp as the army was going out to its battle position, shouting the war cry. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. Now this scripture is specifically talking about Jesus' return. Now, now pay attention to what happens before Jesus' return. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. That is so powerful. Speaking about sound and the role that it plays, that very power that sound possesses is in the inside of all of us. That is why our words are so important. That is why we shout during praise and worship. That is why we should speak life over our lives, situations, relationships, finances, etc. Declare over your life, make professions. Sound matters, so watch what you say over your life. Watch how you speak to your children, loved ones, etc. Watch how you respond to difficulty. If you want to see the manifestations of God, you better shout a sound of praise. Someone is always listening to your sound. What does your sound sound like? Are you giving the sound of complaining, cussing, gossip, triumph, victory, hatred, praise? Your sound is a reflection of your faith. You wanna know how to completely throw the enemy off his rocker? When he expects you to pout, and instead you shout. Financial aid ain't came through. Now they send you an email saying if you don't pay your money, they're gonna drop you out of all your classes, and they're gonna kick you out of house. The normal response is to cry and moan and groan, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. But the faith response. The faith response is to praise God and thank him that he provided a way long before you even got that email and to thank him that it's already taken care of. Thank him that your bill is paid. Praise him in all circumstances. Change your response and that will change your results. Shout. Stop waiting for a song you like to come on during praise and worship to give God some praise. And if, if your church is one of those praising churches who shouts and yells and screams, and during those moments you just stand there, you spectate, you look around, you just missed your opportunity to praise. You just missed your opportunity of manifestation. You just missed your opportunity to change your circumstance. Sound is so powerful. So speak up. Sound is powerful, so speak up but also know when to shut up. Not every action needs a reaction. Let's take it to the Bible. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 27 20. The one who has knowledge uses words with restraint, and whoever has understanding is even tempered. Even fools are thought wise if they keep silent and discerning if they hold their tongues. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 7. In this book we're talking about how there's a time for everything, a season for everything. So in ver and specifically in verse 7 he says, A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. Ask for wisdom on when to shut up. Some of us got the sound thing down pat. But the silent part, not so much. There's a balance. Too much of any one thing will kill you. There's a time to be silent and a time to speak. Ask for the discernment to know the difference. 
that about wraps it up. I just wanted to really speak on that because it's so important that we use our words, that we speak and profess over our lives every day. Get up in the morning and speak life over yourself. Speak life over your job. Speak life over your house and over over your loved ones. Uh, it's it's important. Shout, sound is important. And back to praise and worship, I can't stress that enough, man. If you are sitting around looking at other people praise and shout God, you are doing it wrong, man. Praise and worship is not a time for you to spectate. Participate. Shout for God if he's done anything for you. Praise God. Lift the voice. Um, you, you've seen it. I've showed you biblically. Sound precedes manifestation. Every move of God is preceded by a sound. So you can sit there and be silent if you want to. But there are no rocks about to cry out in my place. And I hope not yours either. So thanks so much for tuning in. If you got anything out of that, please give a thumbs up down below. I really appreciate it. I appreciate y'all comments. I do. I appreciate likes. I appreciate shares. It really means a lot. So thank you so much. If you got anything out of that, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you'd like to see next week. See you next week every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone. Thank you so much. Um, Y'all have a great day. <laughs>